let me show you on this video how you can add automatically your contact form submissions to a CRM called a VBout on this video right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to add your form submission contacts to VBout, all done with a bridge called Pavli Connect. That's going to make the connection from Job Form to VBout. So let's get started. First of all, this is my dashboard, and we're going to get started with a new simple form. So let's go ahead and create a form. Let's start from scratch, classic form, and we're going to add some basic elements for this demo. So we're going to ask for the full name, phone number, and the email. Okay, so we're going to keep it simple. You can go ahead and make this as complex as you like, but for this, we're just going to use this as a demo. Okay, so let's go into settings and we're going to go into integrations and we're going to search for webhook. Okay, here it is. We're going to go ahead and select it. And for the webhook, we are going to use public connect. Like I mentioned before, this is the bridge from jot form to be about. Okay, remember, this is be about right here and we're going to send the information to this contact system. Okay. So let's go into Pally Connect. In Pally Connect, we're going to create a new workflow. We're going to name this dot form. There we go. Let's go ahead and create. Okay. And this is where we're going to create our connection. Now it's pretty simple. We need a trigger and an action. The trigger is filling out our dot form. So whoever fills out that submission, that data is going to send it to the action, which is going to be be about. Okay. So first of all, let's connect dot form. Go ahead and select it. We are going to select the trigger event, a new response, and we're going to need this web hook URL. So let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to job form. We're going to paste it here and we're going to complete the integration. There we go. We are integrated. Let's go ahead and click finish and we're going to go back to Pally Connect. Now on Pally Connect, you're going to see this waiting for web hook response. Since we have never filled out this form, there's no data for Pally Connect to understand. So we need to fill out our form once. Okay. So let's go into job form. We're going to preview this form and we're going to fill this form with demo data. Let's click submit. Let's go back to Pally and we should receive it in a bit. There we go. We just received the data. We can see the webhook URL, the username the data from the form. So the submission date, the email, the phone number, the name, etc. all right here. Okay. Now let's go into the next step, which is going to be the action. So let's click on action and we're going to search for be about when it's selected. The action event, we want to add a contact to the list. If you want to create another automation, you can select something else. In this case, we want to add the contact to the list. Okay. So we're going to connect. And we're going to go into a new connection and it's going to ask us for the API key from BBAL. That way it can integrate. So let's go into our BBAL account. We're going to go into the avatar. We're going to click on settings. We're going to search for API integration and we're going to click on this little eye that's going to reveal our API key. So let's go ahead and copy this key. Let's go back into Pally and paste our key, save it. And now it's connected. Okay. So now it knows what list we have over there on be about and where we want to add it. So first of all, it's asking for the list ID in which one of our lists do we want to connect this to? In this case, I'll select the sample list. These lists are provided over here on be about. If you want to add a list, go ahead and go into your contacts. Go to lists. You can see them here and we can create a new list. You can say job form list, etc. however you want to name that so you can connect. But in this case, I'm going to use the sample list. So let's go ahead and click on this. This is the only contact available on this list as of now. Okay. Go into job form. Let's go into Pally Connect and we're going to add the email address. Now, this email, this email address is provided by the elements in job form. So remember, we already asked for that email on job form and we need to connect it. So it's right here. The submission status, we're going to keep it. We're going to say active, but you can say unsubscribed, etc. Whatever, whatever you want to use. We're not going to use the IP address. We're going to use the first name. Again, it's provided here. It's John. Last name is Smith. There we go. The email address. Again, we're going to add the address that's provided here. And the cell phone, we're going to add the phone. We also asked this on dot form. Here we go. Let's go save and send a test request. 
we should get a okay there we go response is okay the array your contact has been created successfully let's confirm that on bbow let's check this out let's go ahead and refresh this list here we go here is the email added okay so we just completed the integration remember the trigger is this one job for me to be filled down and then that contact is going to be sent to be about let's go ahead and test this out let's go into our form let's go ahead and jump out let's go back into our form let's fill this out once and we're going to say for example tom case phone number we're just going to add something random there the email i'll just say it's test at test.com let's go ahead and submit it here we go and we should wait a few seconds for this to be added on bbout let's go into bbout let's go ahead and refresh it maybe it's sent already and here we go it's added already so test at test.com here is the phone number so i can go ahead and edit this contact if i like you can see his name tom case sample list the status is active i can go ahead and change it here if i like but just like that so now every time that someone fills out our job form it's going to send that contact data into our bbout account that means that we can now start send, send out email lists if we like start the automation so if i want to start an email campaign and add that list as an email campaign well i have all the contacts ready already so it's super easy once you integrate this so just like that you're able to integrate job form with a bbow well i thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to notify you when new videos come out and that's a wrap